Hi everybody, I'm back. Sorry there hasn't been an update for a while. I'm just going to give them some uh, pallets. Let's see if they eat it. I've been... Uh, there we go. There you go. It's a bit more chilly today, but they seem to be uh, quite hungry earlier on. So I'll put a a monkey flower in the corner here, it's on a floating basket, so it gives you the head to go in. I put it, I've got two plants there. One's called a fiber optic plant because it grows little white flowers on the ends. I can't remember the other plant. Uh, I haven't done much with me rewiring, that's a filter somebody gave me. Uh, it's bigger than one I've got. Uh, I've just had the seal pack come for it. I painted the top because it was a bit grubby. But I think the blue looks quite nice. I'm in two minds. I'm painting it all blue and then putting some flowers on it. So here's a little storage container. Let's take that out. Oh, there we go. So I have two more plants to go in. I want to work out how I'm going to do it. So we'll go back. There's Big Orange. There's Big Red. Look at him. Hey, Big Red. What you doing? Hey, what you doing, boy? He is getting big. There's the rest. Look, you got to bet. Delete more when I go. He's got a bit of car pox on him, Goldie. Lily there. She looks good. She's put quite a bit of weight on her and size on her and the two white ones, one's a, a white and one's a metallic silver uh, and the name is Snowy Metallic. We had them from the clay sill last year, they were about an inch long when we had them so they've grown over the winter even though it's been a bit on the cold side. So this is where I've got so far, I've got me UV in line, uh, I've got me stop valves and my bypass valve and my pump turn off valve so that this bottom one will turn the valve off to everything on the return and everything and if we go around here that's how far I've got, I've got the up pipe and I've got me pipe to the filter going to that end so all this is glued in place and I'm hoping for no leaks uh, I put my auto feeder back on today, I haven't put any food in it yet. Uh, I cleaned it all and put it in place. I meant to get a bit of uh, silicon gre oil, grease or something for the seal so it seals a bit better. I'm putting my Tempest back in place. This is the one, when I was at the Clear Show, I went to see temp uh, uh, the, the manufacturer and he gave me a new valve for the bottom, what was very much appreciated. So my idea is, as you can see, the pipe comes up there, and what I'm going to do, I need to put a T-section in, one will come straight to this, to this filter, and then the next one will come into the pressure filter, and then from the pressure filter, across to the tempest, then up and then straight out. Because uh, I, I, I'm thinking of working of a way. I've turned it into a uh, a moving bed filter. Uh, so see how that goes. But I had a new air pump that's 60 litres that uh, puts a bit more warmth around the pond, and it seems to be making quite a big difference on the clouding on the the bits in the pond. Look, it's quite clear. You can see the bottom there. See big red because he likes to have his picture take a look. Hey. You wouldn't need many chips with him would you? And there, there's the next one. But I'll put a new V-light in the pressure pump, uh, the pressure filter and that's had a bit of green coming off but that bulb I'd left it in for two, just over two years and it was fine until this month. So that's been, you know, what they say changed your your bulb every uh, every summer. I don't agree with. Uh, 
There's him look with a bit of his car pox on him. I've got another one with the uh, car pox on. And then you got Bluey down there at the bottom. Come out of the way. Wait till he comes back up. There's one of my goldfish, look. These are goldfish, but he's lost his colour. No, he's gone now. But they are. But that one is absolutely beautiful how the, the light when the light strikes him. Look at He's absolutely beautiful. Mind you, they all are. I don't have a particular favourite other than Angel. You can't at the moment I don't know where she is. Oh she's down. She's down there, look. She's waiting to come up to feed, but that monkey plant there is growing really well. When I bought it, it had about three flat, three leaves on it. it. Didn't have much on it. Uh, I took it out of the soil, put it in my floating uh, pot holder there, and put uh, gravel. And got like I said, I got rid of the soil because you don't want the nitrates from the soil getting in the pond. See, they're going back up the corner. I they want more food. Uh, I can't remember that yellow, that plant there, let's see, like I say, the, the thin grass looking one is fibre optic, uh, it says there, uh, fibre optic, I can't see the, the thingy for that one, I went round checking my net the other day, after I saw that horrible uh, clip of uh, the air and attacking someone's coir, after you put them in a paddling pool. I think I'm pretty good here because I don't leave much room around the sides and if he gets on the net, even with his weight, I don't think it'd get me get me fish that, that good. We've got an angel there. We've, got, we've bought that um, windmill from Portugal. We, I drove down to Portugal to um, Lady of Fatima and we bought that back, it's really pretty. It needs a, a bit of a cleaner, probably a bit of a painting. The boy and girl we bought locally. The frog was a waste of time. It's supposed to float, but it sank. But that's uh, how far I've got. There we go, look, they're all feeding. And you can see it's uh, been around 10 in Stoke today, so not, not as warm as yesterday. But there's no issues with them feeding. I've put my uh, skimmer back on take all the bits off the top and that's it for now so for now goodbye and uh, talk soon don't forget like subscribe and uh, enjoy bye